Shalom. In today's study of Jewish law, we're going to look at the halachos of wishing a Gentile a happy festival on their festival. Um, and this is actually, it seems like it's the polite thing to do. After all, our rabbis tell us that we should, be, we should uh, when we see a Gentile, we should wish them peace and, and greet them uh, first before even they greet us. And we're supposed to be kind and give charity to Gentiles. So it's not like our rabbis have something against Gentiles. So we would imagine when Gentiles have a festival that we should go and wish them a, a happy festival, whatever the festival might be. Actually, that's incorrect. We're not allowed to, to, to wish them, let's say, a Merry Christmas or a Happy New Year's because that is validating their festival. And validating their festival is validating some form either of idolatry, which is forbidden, or if even if their festival isn't idolatrous per se, it is creating a new religion, which is forbidden for a Gentile to do. So when we wish them a Merry Christmas or wish them a Happy Holidays or you know, say, I hope you, you know, enjoy the time with your family, the, the festival with your family, mention the family. So then that would actually be violating this prohibition, which is already found in the mission. Rather, a, another suggestion is to focus on, you know, some of the families or the dinner or the time that they have um, and not uh, and not per se mention the festival. So, you know, I hope you have a couple of good days off. Enjoy your vacation, uh, you know, so, um, along those lines. And if it's a text message, which would look awkward in that sense. So just write, you know, thinking of you on on uh, today when I don't get to see you or something of that nature. You can be creative about it. But wishing somebody mentioning the festival in your greetings and wishing them a special greeting for the festival is actually forbidden. It's good to know. Shalom.